Hey y'all. I have a lot of plants with me today. These two are two new addition plants that um, I got over the weekend. Actually, there are there are more, more coming. There's another one that's hanging on the wall. Um, I don't really need to clean that one, but however, all the ones that are in front of me, I need to clean, especially, where is it? Okay. Especially my Homa Lumina. Um, in my previous videos, I don't remember which one. I think it was like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I came home from our vacation. We found out that I got a mealybug infestation on the Homa Lumina. The coming days after what happened, after I found um, all the mealybugs, I spray this plant, basically the whole thing. I douse it with um, alcohol and Dawn soap mixture. Um, that seemed to help after I also um, use, um, what's it called, Q-tips and alcohol and rubbing alcohol on the all of the mealy bugs like grab like getting them one by one and also i think i use neem oil i don't remember if i did actually i might not use neem oil well anyways today i will be using neem oil ronner's peppermint castile soap and water mixture so just kind of like spraying all of the plants on the leaves just so I can clean the leaves, but I have my water here. I don't have um, a thing to pour um, my water without getting it messy all over because I need to put the water inside the spray bottle and the opening of the spray bottle is pretty small. So yeah, um, let me get to mixing my um, concoction and then after that, I'm gonna get to cleaning. All right, so I researched this beforehand, how to clean the leaves without just using just water. Also, I'm also I'm gonna be um, wiping and cleaning my monstera plant, the one that's a little bit bigger than the ones that I have on my table. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of, neem oil the smell it kind of grow on me not gonna lie I kind of like it <laughs> I think that's good right that's about a tablespoon I think that's about a tablespoon but yeah like I, I I know and this might be weird but the smell of neem oil has grown on me I kind of like it <laughs> um is that let me add a little bit more. Oh, I didn't really mix the, um, I didn't really mix the oil and the soap. Okay, I'm not, I don't know, yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work <laughs> because I forgot to mix the soap and the neem oil beforehand before I added the water, but I think it's, for some reason I had uh, a little bit warmer than, um, room temperature water um all right anyways i think i'm gonna start with the um home alumen. oh i also have my microfiber cloth yeah i'm gonna use it to to clean okay so this is my first time doing this i yeah i don't know i'm i'm a little bit nervous not gonna lie oh no i need to adjust the um the spray it's still very okay. This is gonna be super messy. Oh boy. Um, okay, just to be safe, I got, um, I put down paper towel and I think I am gonna spray it on the towel before. Mm, this thing smells so good. But that, yeah, it's, I think it might just be me. Um, I like the smell of neem oil. 
but yeah I was um I well I wasn't really up all night up all night but I wait was it last night or the night before I stay up a little bit later than I <laughs> I was supposed to just because I was watching um I was watching and reading different um videos and different articles on um how to clean um your pants um, to prevent mealybugs to prevent um what's the other one fungus gnats um spider mites honestly i think spider mites is the one that i'm the most afraid of because yeah you can't like the signs the tail tap the tail the tell tell tail tail tell uh, the signs of um, spider mites are your leaves will brown, will start to brown and um, yellowing. So it's like signs of like overwatering and underwatering, but it's really um, spider mites. And usually by the time you caught it, it's a little bit too late. So yeah, I'm so scared of that. I'm so, so, so intimidated of spider mites. Um, I mean, thankfully, I haven't encountered any. So. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm, but still, I'm so scared. <laughs> and honestly, the reason why I was like, oh shoot, you know, I really need to do this, is because I've been putting my plants out um, on my balcony because it's summer, right? I want, like, I really want my plants to just kind of thrive outside, at least for right now, like during the summer, because I read that it's pretty. I read that it's good for your plants to be outside. Okay, so first plant is done. I think I got all of them. This one does have a lot more like smaller leaves, but yeah, it looks so good now. It looks healthy. It doesn't have um, a bunch of fuzz <laughs> like before. Because when I put them outside, I, I, okay, so I forgot to say, when I was battling with the mealy bugs, in order for me to quarantine this plant and for me to just spray it um, consistently, I actually put this one outside. It was outside for like almost two weeks. Um, so for, um, yeah, while I was just sitting outside, it gathered some dust um, and I never really wiped the leaves um, after I put them outside. This is like my first time actually wiping it um thoroughly but it looks good now so i really hope that this one is will grow happily um i'm looking at a, i'm looking at a baby leaf over here there's one baby leaf i think it's so cute now what we're gonna do is this philodendron red imperial i bought this yesterday <laughs> went to a, um, a nursery to buy a pot for this guy for my um rubber plant um tinic tinicky tinicky i don't know how you say it but i went to the nursery to buy um like a nursery pot for this guy and i came out with <laughs> a phyllo red imperial and um marble photos the marble queen photos so <laughs> yeah I have a problem. <laughs> and I'm gonna start on the bottom. The bottom leaves. This one, it doesn't really have a problem. Like it's, it's actually, I think it looks pretty clean. But I, yeah, I just wanna be sure. Um, you know, I am still quarantining. I'm quarantining this one and the rubber plant. But um, I'm still gonna wipe them down even though they do look clean but i don't know you know i kind of want to just take every precautious measure that i can take in my power in order for me to not have a pest outbreak <laughs> i love this so much um the coloring is beautiful and yeah i'm just i love philodendron i think philodendron they're so cool a lot of, yeah, no, I've mentioned this before. A lot of my wish list plants are philodendron, actually. Those are, I think philodendron is the first one that really got me into plants. Um, well, actually, no, monstera. The monstera, the Lysiosa, is the first 
one that got me into plants, and then after the Monstera, it will be the Philodendron. Um, so yeah, it's yeah, it's my I I, I just love them so much. <laughs> I do this one on I didn't because this one has a bunch of water spots you just want to be careful with the leaves I mean I don't want to like rip them that's why that's also the reason why you want to use microfiber cloth because it's yeah it's, it's softer this nursery is one of the nursery that I went for my birthday haul. Um, I'm gonna put a card over here for that video. Um, and it's called Hilltop Gardens. It's in Westminster, Colorado. And I mentioned this before, I think. Before I am in, like into plants, or like super into plants, Julio and I, we were trying to, um, to grow bonsai trees. So for example, this girl named Cindy is born on April 5th, 2001. And then daddy decided to buy a bottle of wine so Cindy could pop it open on her wedding day. You know how that's a thing, right? Well, Julio and I, we decided, hey, why don't we get a bonsai tree and give it to Zoe when she's 18? So we started doing that, or we try to do that, but we weren't knowledgeable enough and bonsai care even though we try to do research as best as we could but we're just yeah we're not i guess and I, I honestly also think it was where we were i think that place was cursed honestly but um yeah we we killed the bonsai however when we started doing our bonsai adventure we went to Hilltop. We went to Hilltop Gardens to buy the little pots, to buy different um, gardening stuff. Um, yeah, so we've been there, but I never really like check out the houseplant collection. So I was just like, ew, whatever. I'm here for the bonsai. Um, and yeah, so that was like the first time I went to Hilltop Garden. But then after, when I start getting into planting, I was like, oh wait, there's that one nursery place that I really, really like in Westminster. But yeah, now Hilltop is like one of my favorites, honestly. But yeah, I found this at Hilltop. Isn't she a beauty? She's so pretty. And look at this new leaf. And there's another new leaf over here. She's so pretty. I love her. So the rubber plant. I thought this one looked super cool. Actually, the one that I really, really want is the common rubber plant, just because of how dark the leaves are. Um, but then I also saw this one and I thought, whoa, this one is super cool. So I started looking into different rubber plants and now I think I have seven, six, Seven wish list um, that's just rubber plants <laughs> but this is one of them yeah it's so cute it's so so pretty just I mean the leaves I think the pattern pattern or design no right pattern the pattern of the leaves I think it's just the coolest thing all right so this one this one is clean This one is clean. Yeah. Next one is my Monstera. This is the Monstera that I got from Plantarina. Earlier this month, this plant started shooting up two new leaves. Um, this leaf and this leaf. And then the other day I was just checking it out and then there's another leaf, another new one over here, down here. So this one seems super happy right now. I honestly don't even know what I did or if, if it's the lack of me doing anything, paying attention to this plant, but it seems happy and because of that, I'm happy. <laughs> I, 
I don't know. I feel like my monstera hasn't been um, putting out new leaves and the growth has been a little bit slow and I, I don't know, it just, it got me a little bit sad. Maybe it's, you know how I repotted this one? Maybe it's starting to kick in that they have more root to grow or more room to grow, not more root to grow. But yeah, this one I know for sure I need to clean. This is one of the ones that I would put out outside um, in the balcony. So I know for sure that I need to clean this one for sure, for sure. All right, my Pylea peperomioid. I'm still having a hard time setting that. Chinese money tree. <laughs> or Chinese money plant. Okay, so this is the other one that I got from Plantarina. I don't even remember. I don't remember if you guys remember, but this was tiny. This was, this was small and now it's getting so big. I think it's getting so big and I've made like, honestly, I've cut some of the ones on the bottom just because I feel like it was super, super bare. Um, and yeah, with the exception of this one, I don't know why I still keep it and this one, but this has grown so fast for me. And the funny thing is sometime around last week, I, I found a mushroom. Yeah, it grew mushroom over here. It was just like random and randomly sprouted mushroom. And I thought it was super cute. I didn't, I didn't take any photos or video. Actually, no, I think I did. Yeah, I took a photo because I want to show my friends because I thought it was super cool. Um, so yeah, I took a photo. I'm gonna insert it right here, here, here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll insert it somewhere uh, if I can find the photo. <laughs> but yeah this one has been growing so fast i think every day there's a new leaf sprouting so i thought it's super cool i'm super happy with this one honestly and i don't really do anything to it either like i just i this is living under my grow light um but it's it also gets sun um from my south facing window from this window like i want to say this is one of the ones that I will pay attention to every day. Like I would look at it every day. But then again, that's like all of my plants. I do look at all of my plants every day. Like every morning, that's the first thing I do. We'll wake up, well, I make sure that Zoe has changed, that she's ready for the day. And then after that, I go to my plants and I just stare at them, look at them one by one, see if there's anything that needs attention or if certain plants need watering so yeah that's like my everyday type now waiting for new growth from all of my plants i think i think it's a normal thing right but yeah i'm gonna do my black coral sensoveria i was gonna get um a different sensoveria yesterday but i didn't because um the red imperial Okay, so this one has grown so much. I don't, honestly, I don't even remember how short it was or how small this um, snake plant was when I first got it. I just know that it was not this big. It was not this tall and there was not a bunch of um, baby ones. But yeah, right now it has a lot of them. Not gonna lie, this one is kind of hard to do. It's pretty hard to clean. Yeah, I actually got all of them. I, at least the ones that I know I could reach. I got all of them. Sweet. Okay, so we have two more. This is the last of the small one. Hi, Zoe. You want to go with me? Okay, come, you can come here. So bright. So bright, I know. Mm. Zoe is here. She wants to help me. She brought, she brought Elsa with her. It's nice and cold. The plants are nice and cold. Yeah, it's a 
be careful. I cannot hug you, not right now. So I'm doing this. Two more leaves. And then I'm gonna bring out the big guy. <laughs> like right now ay, 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 it got caught again right now that's one of that's the biggest one I own is my big monstera but even then it's still like pretty tiny compared to like other monsteras that I'm so jealous of I need to water this manana actually no this one is good yeah this one is good. It's just the top that looks wet, but so beautiful. I feel very much in love with my monster. Okay, let me go grab the big guy. Here it is. This is my biggest one. I know it's not like impressive by any means, but I'm still impressed by this. <laughs> But anyways, this one is very, very dirty. I I remember wiping it with neem oil. I don't exactly have a hose. Um, I didn't really spray it down. So the leaves have gotten like super, super sticky. Like right now, this is like extremely sticky. Um, so I really hope that this is gonna help it clean the leaves. And then maybe Maybe, just maybe, it's gonna promote more growth. I just feel like right now it's not growing as big and as fast, even though this one lives under the grow light. Like, it gets the grow light every night for 12 hours, basically from eight till eight. Um, so yeah but it's not growing as much and as fast as I would hope. So yeah, I feel like maybe it's because the leaves are dirty. Maybe it's because they're sticky. Maybe, just maybe. Y'all, we're cleaning right now. We're cleaning it and hoping that it'll grow better, more, stronger. Kind of like the Daft Punk song, you know? All right, you know what? After I washed my hands, because my hands were so, so sticky. Like I couldn't tell if, if it's clean or not, but oh my God. They feel so clean. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. They feel so different. Oh my God, it worked. I think that's good. Let me just uh, clean this stem right here. Oh, I'm excited for that new leaf, honestly. Hmm. It's not disgusting anymore. Okay, I'm done. All right, so that's all for today's video. I know it's probably the most boring video I made, but I don't know. I just, I just feel like bringing everyone along in my cleaning journey. <laughs> but yeah, they feel so good now, like all the leaves. Cause like I said, it was super sticky before. It was like disgustingly sticky, but they feel great now. They feel nice and clean. They look nice and clean. I'm just hanging out under this, under this Monstera umbrella. <laughs> I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm in Totoro when he brought the big leaf. That's me right now. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. This is, I mean, I feel like this is like a boring video but I hope I made it fun enough to watch and educational enough to watch. Uh, I yeah I don't know I don't know what I'm saying but thank you so much for watching 
if you haven't already please subscribe down below and click on the bell icon so you get notified when i have new videos coming i post every thursday and next thursday i believe i'm gonna have a very special video i think i don't know i mean it's special for me i don't know if it's special for anyone else but definitely special for me <laughs> so yeah uh Thank you again for watching and I'll see everyone next Thursday. Bye.